Hey guys, well Starbursts here, and welcome to another Voxel Sniper tutorial. Today we're going to learn about the series of splatter brushes which are useful for making realistic terrain with a variety of blocks. Using multiple block types in your terrain can vary the texture more and give your terrain a more realistic look. For instance, most Minecraft forests just have grass or leaves on the ground. But what else is really in a forest? There's also mud, and we can find some gravel in there too. There are probably little bits of cobblestone everywhere too. Usually, you would have to go through the forest and add these features manually, although the series of splatter brushes can make this job much easier. In some respects, the splatter brush mimics other brush types in that you can use the splatter brush in the same way as you can use the disc, voxel disc, ball, voxel, and overlay brushes. Let's take the splatter disc brush for example. Instead of laying down a solid disc, such as the regular disc brush would, the splatter disc randomly scatters blocks within that area. That same random scatter is what defines the splatter brush, and you can get that splatter effect with all of the brush types that were mentioned by using the following commands. The splatter brushes have three parameters, the seed percent, the growth percent, and the recursions. For this example, let's say we're using a splatter voxel disc with a brush size of 10. The brush's area is represented by this grid. And let's also say that we have our seed percentage at 3%, our growth percentage at 50%, and our recursion rate at 3. When we right-click, there are seeds placed within the radius of your brush. The percent chance of a seed being created in any given block is defined by your seed percentage. Because we have 100 blocks in total and a 3% chance of each block becoming a seed, we get 3 seeds within our brush's radius. To obtain the random splatter that is characteristic of the splatter brushes, we use growths. Growths are blocks that are randomly placed on each side of the seed, and the chance of them being placed is defined by the growth percentage that you input. We had a 50% growth rate, and because there are four sides, we should usually have blocks placed on two of the four sides. This process will repeat using the previous growths based on the amount of recursions you defined. We set our recursion rate to 3, so we will use the previous growths as our seeds this time around, and once again you'll see that most of the time we have two blocks placed on each side of the new growth. All we need to do now is repeat the process for a third recursion, and we're done. Here are some exemplary uses of the splatter brush. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.